Next, I want to thank all of you for, uh, for being here this morning. There is a broad coalition, uh, many of whose members are arrayed on, on the steps here uh, with me, and they are all supportive of the bill that was introduced last night on civil marriage equality in the state of Maryland. All of us want the same thing for our children. Marylanders of different religious beliefs, Marylanders of all walks of life, all want the same thing for our children. We want our children to live in loving, stable, committed households that are protected equally under the law. We also believe that we can protect religious freedom and rights equally under the law. Other states have found a way to do this. We can find a way to do this too. And that common ground that allows us to move forward is dignity. The human dignity of every single person. There are, this is a broad coalition that is supportive of this bill, including Marylanders for Marriage Equality Coalition, which now includes the Baltimore NAACP, the ACLU, the Human Rights Campaign, the National Black Justice Coalition, the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force, the Family Equality Council, Catholics for Equality, the Jewish Community Relations Council of Greater Washington, Maryland Faith for Equality, the Unitarian Universalist Legislative Ministry of Maryland, uh, PFLAG now, and Progressive Maryland, and Equality Maryland, and many others. Uh, yesterday we submitted a marriage equality bill which balances equal protection of individual rights with the important protection of religious liberty and religious freedom. Uh, this is a broad-based array of Marylanders that support this bill. Just this month, we will also uh, welcome the support of the AFL-CIO and SEIU-1199, uh, well, I think the largest healthcare union in the entire country. And um, I want to, the momentum is growing, and there's a lot of hard work to do. We are going to be successful in this legislative session uh, by recognizing the dignity in one another, by recognizing the common humanity that all of us share. In this great state that celebrates as, uh, diversity as our strength, we choose to be bound together by a common thread, and that common thread is human dignity. It's what allows us to look into the eyes of every child in our state and say that this child is a child of God and that this child is worthy of the protection of the laws equally that all of us come together to support in order to make our state a better place, a more just place, a more caring place. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Reverend Starlene Joyner uh, Burns. Reverend? Thank you. Thank you, Governor Mallory. My name is Reverend Starling Joan Burns, and I am the founder of SJD Ministries in Bowie, Maryland. And I have come to serve those who are without a church home. I want you to know that I value, respect, the freedom of religion. It is one of our founding tenets, a long-standing American value, and one that I cherish. This is why I support Governor O'Malley's proposed legislation that he talked about today. It recognizes that religious freedom must be protected. And right now, clergy far and wide are able to choose those they wish to perform a marriage ceremony for and those they don't. The proposed new marriage law will not change that. If religious leaders don't want to preside over same-sex couples nuptial, that's all right. This new law will protect them. I exercise my right all the time because I will refuse to marry a couple, gay or straight, where I can clearly see the evidence of domestic violence. So nothing changes for the religious community regarding their rights. What does change, however, is that every adult will be able to get a marriage license and they can marry the person they love. 
gay couples will be able to go to the courthouse and get their marriage license just like everyone else. And most importantly, they will be able to protect their families under this new law because family is important. Everyone wants to raise their families in an environment that brings respect, protection, and the responsibilities that marriage brings. And many of you know that there's a plethora of churches in Maryland that opposes gay marriage, but not, of all, not all of them, and in most cases, not all of their congregants are against equal rights for same-sex couples. The tide is turning here in Maryland and throughout the country. And over time, those of us who support this issue will keep having conversations to educate others. The message of marriage equality has nothing to do with religious marriages, but it has everything to do with fairness. And that is why I'm proud to be here today. I think that Governor O'Malley is doing the right thing for Maryland families because families are important and family matters. Thank you. Mr. Ezekiel Jackson, XCIU. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ezekiel Jackson. I'm a political organizer with 1199 SCIU. I'm also currently serving as the president of Marylanders for Marriage Equality. First, I'd like to thank the governor for his leadership on this issue. I'm here today representing my union, uh, 1199 SCIU. We're made up of 9,000 members in the region and more than 350,000 members in five states and the District of Columbia, making us the largest local union in the country. Every day our union stands with working men and women in the shop, in communities, and in our state legislature. We represent men and women from all walks of life, all races, <coughs> creeds, and religions. We represent straight, gay, and lesbian workers, and we make no distinctions. In contract bargaining, straight and gay workers stand together to negotiate same-sex benefits because workers know that all of us deserve the same benefits for the same work regardless of who we love. So standing up for marriage equality is an extension of that demand for basic fairness. When we talk with our members about this issue, and our members are predominantly African American, and contrary to what some white folks may tell you, we're not all monolithic on this issue or any issue. Things are not so black and white, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I've had a lot of conversations about the issue with members of our union, and by and large, when I explain exactly what the bill would do, namely, give same-sex couples the ability to get a marriage license, and what the bill would not do, namely, force anyone or any church to change their definition of marriage, the response I get is support for the bill. People understand basic fairness and know the golden rule, and it doesn't take much to apply them to this issue. As a father of three beautiful little girls, I teach my daughters to respect people, even those that have different views of the world than we do. I also teach them to love themselves and not let anyone keep them from being who they are. We all want the best for our children, including committed same-sex couples. That's what marriage and family are all about, and that's what marriage equality is about. Thank you. Next, uh, I want to introduce Next, I want to introduce two beautiful Marylanders who are here today, a uh, couple, O'Brien Banner and Daryl Fields. Hello and good morning to all. My name is Daryl Fields. I'm a 27-year-old um, computer engineer. I work for the federal government, and this is my partner, O'Brien Banner. He's a 28-year-old, um, and he is a business analyst, and he works for a local state government. We've been together for five years, and um, we're just here to support the, the, the bill. Good morning, everyone. 
Um, we didn't come with any organizations or uh, any clergy of sorts. We just came to speak um, and tell a little story about ourselves personally. Uh, we moved here from uh, North Carolina a few years back with hopes of uh, being granted better opportunities here than uh, we were afforded in our, in our home state. Uh, we worked very hard to convince um, everyone as well as our families. We both come from very traditional Christian religious families and we work very hard to provide an example of how uh, our love is consistent and it's true and um, thankfully our families have been very supportive to us. Uh, being able to be married would be uh, paramount to both of us because we would like to be able to create our version of the American dream which is to be able to be married, to be able to purchase a home, and within three years be able to adopt children, a little girl and a little boy. Um, it was just a, a brief story. We thank you very much for your time, and uh, thank you, Governor O'Malley, for uh, allowing this day to be possible and everyone else who allowed this day to be possible. And we thank you. Let me introduce Senator Rich Madalena. Senator? Thank you very much, Governor O'Malley, and thank you for opening up your house, the People's House, to all of us this, this morning. We were able to have um, a wonderful breakfast with so many uh, same-sex couples from around the state. Um, I, I want to thank you for inviting myself, my husband Mark, and our children to attend today for this remarkable and historic day. Um, I want to take a moment to also thank uh, several of the partners that have made sure that we have gotten here, and I want to specifically um, thank uh, Equality Maryland, the ACLU of Maryland, and the Human Rights Campaign for their efforts to make sure that we're able to be standing here today and um, have the governor joining the battle um, this year to finally pass marriage equality. I, and I also want to thank, as we, as we do this struggle, um, so many Maryland couples have stepped forward to tell their stories, but I want to particularly thank Lisa Polyak and Gita Dean who for years have stood up and explained um, their family and have talked about the need for uh, the legal recognition that comes only with marriage. And um, they have stood up for a long time and said, and, and stood with their daughters and said how important it was for them and for so many of the same gender couples of this state to have full marriage equality. And we wouldn't be here without you, Governor, and we wouldn't be here without Lisa and Gita right now either.